Okay, it's Gwendolyn, long time no see, aka Black Power Bunny, and it's December. As a matter of fact, it's almost the end of December, so we're doing a wrap up. So we go from September to December. Sorry. I know somewhere in there I talked about doing more, writing more, and then something happened with like the job promotion and creating all these grand ideas. People actually expect you to follow through on those promises. What? Yeah, so I've been working. Believe it or not, this professional slacker has been earning her keep for the past few months. And now that we're at the end of 2015, I figured let's just do a little wrap up here. Quick little wrap up. Um, don't really do resolutions per se, but the biggest thing this year in my finally 40 year, because you know I've been um, upping my age for the past five years, and now I'm finally 40, so we remain as 40, but I'm thinking next year I'm gonna be 42. Like, I just can't sit still at one age. Like, like I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of I, don't, I don't know, I just I feel like I should be older. Whatever. So here we go. So Running Bunny was my idea. I figured 40 years old, we're gonna do skydiving. I was asked by the president, our company president, not Obama, to not do that because like she kind of needs me around. Um, we were gonna do a marathon. I did that, we'll talk about that. And then somewhere along the lines, I grabbed these other goals. So I got an email about, hey, if you do nine half marathons, you'll get a special plaque and a special medal. And we did nine half marathons. And then someone said, you should do 40 races because you're turning 40. I was like, yeah. So we did 40 races. I got 40 medals. I got, well, I should have more than 40. Believe it or not, I got like 42, 43 that I need to put up on a wall. So I'm looking for like a little metal rack to put that up. Um, but I, I ran every single one. And I thought to myself, next year, I'm not going to race as much. I'm going to cut back. And already I'm thinking, well, maybe a couple of races. It won't hurt. So the marathon in Jamaica, which we did, yeah! Did that beautiful, beautiful time in Jamaica. Whew, had some hiccups with the race. Um, practice, trained, and the day of, my foot gave out, and I was in a sock, um, power walking, trying to anyway, on the streets of Negril. And then at one point, I was in the back of an ambulance, and my foot was elevated, and I thought, I'm gonna get disqualified if I get out of this, out of this ambulance. And so they let me out reluctantly, and I trotted my way to the 26.2, passing up two people along the way. <laughs> Thank you. And um, finished with six hours, 53 minutes, six seconds. Not what I planned for, not what I trained for, and not what I would say I'm used to. So the day of, I thought, no more racing, no more marathons, no more racing. And then two days later, I figured, well, what's one more? I just refuse to go down with seven hours. I know good and damn well I can do better than seven hours. Like, I know I can. So I'm thinking April. And then I thought, after watching the reggae marathon um, video from 2015, then I thought, well, maybe I should go back and redeem myself. It would only be right. So we'll see. If the good Lord allows, I'll be back in Jamaica running that reggae marathon again, and I refuse to go down at 6 hours, 53 minutes, 6 seconds. Refuse. Now, in other great news, along with that promotion that we got and turning 40 and having a great time with my family and my friends, great time. Uh, you know, my semi-professional photography is making its moves. We're going to do some big things in 2016. We have already started a project for 2016, so I'm so excited about that. And had a chance to participate in a uh, art show this year. And the thing with photography, like everyone has a camera, so with Instagram and Flickr and all, uh, all these apps and things and your camera phone. Everyone is a, in essence, in its raw form, a photographer. So when you go to that next level of, I want to share my art and share my work and share my skill for um, monetary reasons, it becomes funny. Because then you think, will people appreciate it? Will they like it? Am I good enough? I mean, there's all this self-doubt. But everyone sees the world differently behind a lens. And you have to appreciate the way you see the world 
and maybe others will like the way you see the world as well. So, um, we have jumped out there. 2016 will be great for me, no matter what. But we've jumped out there, and I'm really excited about the next level we're taking this uh, photography to. And like I said, I've already started my 2016 project. It's in my head, I have the visions, and it's nothing more exciting than to capture what you visioned in your head in like real life. It's crazy, like give me goobas, like just, uh, I can't even speak, I'm like so, uh, verklempt, verklempt. So, yeah, I'm happy about that, happy about it. So, 2015 was great, turned 40, ran a marathon, traveled, had a great time with friends and family, um, I created a job for myself, and now I have to actually work this job that I created, so like, what the hell is that about? But 2016 will be even better, good Lord allows, and even if I don't do half of what I dream I'm going to do, it will be a great year, no doubt, no matter what. So I'm gonna say to everyone out there, Happy New Year's to all of you. Be safe, cause you know, the world is different nowadays. The world is different nowadays. Um, so just be careful, be safe, and hope to see all of you in 2016.